Hello everyone, welcome to the third installment of my series, Machine Spotlight. Today, we will be shining the spotlight on another of the new machines found in Horizon Forbidden West, the Tremor Tusk. The Tremor Tusk closely resembles a woolly mammoth or elephant. It has been featured heavily in the marketing for Horizon Forbidden West, with the collector's edition even including a replica figurine. The Tremor Tusk is one of the largest machines you will encounter on your journey through the Forbidden West. With an array of deadly ranged attacks and devastating melee attacks, the Tremor Tusk is a frightening adversary. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about the Tremor Tusk. Let's start with their locations on the map. There are three dedicated Tremor Tusk machine sites. The first machine site lies just west of the ruins of Las Vegas in the Nevada desert. Here you can find a lone tremor tusk with no other machines in the immediate vicinity. The next machine site lies in the mountains to the west, nestled between the settlements of Skies Sentry and Cliff Watch. Here you will also find a lone tremor tusk with no other machines in the surrounding area. The last machine site is in the far north mountains, accessible in the late game. It can be found northeast of the settlement of Saltbite. Here you can find two tremor tusks, enabling you to create an epic battle should you choose to override one. Now. Let's go over the data point on the Tremor Tusk. The Tremor Tusk, a level 35 combat heavyweight machine. An enormous combat machine whose slow speed is offset by thick armor plates and multiple ranged weapon systems. It is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. Being a tough opponent, you could expect some good loot if you choose to face one and defeat it. Notable loot includes crystal braiding, Metal Shards, Piercing Spike, Sparker, Sturdy Hard Plate, Tremor Tusk Circulator, Large Machine Core, Tremor Tusk Primary Nerve, Volatile Sludge, Machine Muscle, Braided Wire, Luminous Brainstem, and Metal Bone. Now, let's take a look at the various weak points that we can take advantage of in battle. Once again, the Tremor Tusk is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. It is also very strong versus shock damage. It has four large razor sharp tusks. You can detach or destroy all four to disable its more damaging attacks. The shock cannon is a powerful cannon that fires homing shock projectiles. If detached, you can use it yourself as a weapon. The amplifying sack acts as potent liquid storage Destroy to disable the ability to amplify allied machine attacks. The Sparker serves as shock storage. Tear it off to collect the resource or shoot with a well-placed shock arrow to detonate. The Plasma Cannon is a powerful heavy weapon that fires devastating tracks of plasma along the ground. You can also detach it to use it for yourself as a weapon. The Ammo Drums serve as large storage containers for valuable resources. You can tear them off to collect their contents. The four salvo cannons are powerful weapons that fire salvos of withering blasts. They vent heat to the heat sink. The large blaze sack acts as blaze storage. You can destroy it to disable fire attacks. The heat sinks act as heat dispersal mechanisms, extremely vulnerable to damage but only exposed when the salvo cannon overheats. The processing capsule acts as resource and material storage for internal functions. The Tremor Tusk does also have an antenna, which acts as a signal transmitter used to call in machine reinforcements. Now, let's take a look at another variant of the Tremor Tusk, the Apex Tremor Tusk. Apex Tremor Tusk, a level 56 combat heavyweight machine a hunter-killer variant, recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. It is weak versus shock damage, and strong versus purge water 
and plasma damage. The Apex Tremor Tusk is a great source for endgame looting. It has 100% drop rates for Crystal Braiding, Sparker, Metal Shards, Apex Tremor Tusk Heart, Piercing Spike, and Luminous Brainstem. You can also get Sturdy Hard Plate, Tremor Tusk Circulator, Large Machine Core, Tremor Tusk Primary Nerve, Volatile Sludge, Machine Muscle, Braided Wire, and Metal Bone. Next, let's take a look at a Tremor Tusk in battle so we can closely study its attacks. It uses its trunk to grab a superheated boulder from the ground to use as a ranged attack, in addition to its salvo cannons. It can also use its trunk as a flamethrower. It can use its tusks for a devastating grab attack. Here, you can see it electrifying its feet for an AoE shock attack. It can also unleash a deafening roar, temporarily disabling weapon use. Here, it uses concurrent shocking stomps. Followed by a sweeping melee attack with its tusks. Its plasma cannons can be devastating if it lands a hit. Let's take a look at one more variant that you'll see through the main story, the Rebel Tremor Tusk. Regala's rebels have managed to affix a large howda to the Tremor Tusk's back, allowing a group of archers to rain down arrows. The Rebel Tremor Tusk shares the same weak points as a regular Tremor Tusk while adding hut support beams. Shoot these down with well-placed arrows to destroy the howda and kill the rebel archers. The Tremor Tusk can be overridden once you have completed the Kappa Cauldron and received its overrides. Now, I'll demonstrate overriding a Tremor Tusk. We're gonna set it to aggressive and unleash it on the nearby wild Tremor Tusk. After a long battle, our overridden Tremor Tusk is victorious. Given its immense strength, the Tremor Tusk makes a great ally once overridden. Finally, let's take a closer look at the weapons you can detach from the Tremor Tusk to use for yourself. We'll start by taking a look at the Tremor Tusk Shock Cannon.
the shock cannon, when detached, holds six rounds of homing shock projectiles. Next, let's take a look at the Tremor Tusk Plasma Cannon. When detached, the plasma cannon holds 30 rapid fire plasma rounds. It also does not overheat. That concludes this episode of Machine Spotlight, where we took a closer look at the Tremor Tusk. Tell me what you think about the Tremor Tusk in the comments down below. What was your first reaction when you saw the Tremor Tusk on your journey? If you liked this video, please press the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I look forward to continuing my Machine Spotlight series. Tell me what machine you would like featured next. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Once again, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.